that this was the best day ever in the history of Cloud Break. It was the biggest, best Cloud Break that's ever been written. Best thousand bucks ever spent, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I pretty much call this trip Nakiti. You know, it was meant to be. So we're at 5.30 in the morning with three boats and a jet ski taking off from this bay in the pitch black with these Fijians. There were these lightning bolts that were hitting the water like this huge storm and we were driving right towards it and I'm looking around and I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck are we doing? You know, you know I went out for a little bit, almost got caught inside by another big set. Me and Cole were on the outside, a couple, everybody else got washed in and so me and Cole were just looking at each other like, wow, you know, I think it's coming, right? And I went for the second one, I was like, I'm going on this one, you know what I mean? We're good friends, so it was, it's all good, you know. Grabbed my rail and didn't think I was deep enough, so I let go of my rail and I went down more and tried to stall it. And then I noticed it was t going fast, so then I started to cut back in and it kind of hit me in my head, and, but I still made it in the barrel. They ran, I guess they ran two heats, and then and then they ca they called it off because of the wind. And then like half an hour, 45 minutes later, a 50 foot wave came in. And that's the wave that everybody with the board, with Marquita's board on it. The first one was probably 40 feet face, and then the second was 50 feet. And then that's when the whole day, the whole complexion of the, the whole session just changed it more serious, you know what I mean? It just got into a whole nother level. One of the things that makes it so tough to surf is that it's like pipeline, you know, so you have this incredible, incredibly steep drop and this huge barrel like Chopu, but it is so fast and it's breaking so far down the line and then on the end there's this dry reef section that it kind of bend tor bends towards. It's intimidating. It, it's, it can be intimidating because you, you almost doesn't even look like you can make the wave. It's just barreling so far down the line, but it's so perfect if you can make the drop and get in the barrel. And uh, you know, the barrels weren't the, the drops weren't necessarily worse than pipe, but it's just it's just so much more going on. The pipeline is twice as big for for one. And, and like I said, it's just breaking so far down the line, it can be intimidating because the drops, like I said, are makeable, but it's like you have to put yourself so deep, so far in the back. It's, uh, so I, I would think, which you don't see in videos and pictures, you just see these big barrels and somebody's standing in them, you know, it's pretty appealing. Yeah, Jensen, uh, he's, he's, he's underground. I, I forget where he's from, but he's a real nice kid. He's real humble. Um, he doesn't even have a sponsor. You know, but I'd say he's one of the best guys out there in the water when the waves are big. For sure. Really great stuff. The kid's been charging for years and, you know, definitely is, uh, you know, known by everybody here in the North Shore as one, of, one very good surfer. His ticket to get there was $4,000. He, he, he was like, the day before he decided to come, that wasn't little. That was a big barrel he got. I thought he was going to make it because it was just so perfect. I didn't doubt, I, I didn't care how deep he got. I just had a feeling that he was going to make it. He palled by me and he said, you know what, Kalai, I just got my $4,000 worth of my first wave. The two guys that were catching the most waves were probably Mark Keeley and Cole Christensen. I think they had the most experience out there and, um, you know, they just live for that stuff. They just really, really, really loved it. Reef or Wassel might get right in the year, I think. 
even the rest of this winter, I don't see how any wave here could compare to that. There's no wave here that breaks like that. But yeah, it was definitely an eye-opener. That is one of the most gnarly waves that I have ever surfed. Maybe, maybe the gnarliest, I don't know.